Hey, in this video, I'll teach you how to do some simple animations in Canva. You could pause this if you need the basic instructions on how to set up your design. But in this video overall, we'll go over the tools that Canva offers, what animations you can do, as well as have a couple design tips that perhaps you could implement. All right, so to get started in the types of tools that Canva offers, there's basically two areas. You're gonna look to the sidebar as well as the top bar. The sidebar ones that I want you to pay attention to are design, elements, text, and uploads. I pretty much don't use any of the other ones, but um, all right, so let's go ahead and animate with Canva. So I already finished all my slides for this video and I'll show you how you can animate a video such as this. You click animate at the top and basically it has all these options and you just kind of play around with what you like. Um, there's a couple fun ones. In the next slide, I'll show you my favorites. Um, I really like sleek, I like scrapbook. You can kind of just play around and it lets you preview it. And then you have these options to either do, you know, animate both or only on enter or only on exit. And you just kind of do that for each slide. So each slide, you go ahead and click that top animate button. And then in this white column on the left, you get all these options for how to animate. And if you do it over a whole slide, it does it for every element in the slide. However, you also have the option to do, you know, select elements. And right here, I show you how to do select elements. So because I wanted this to drip, um, I copied it three times and then I slowly removed elements so that as it would play, one element would pop up at a time. So in order to properly animate that, the first one, you animate the entire slide, but the second and third slide, you're only gonna animate the new element. And if you do that, you'll want to try to remember to click the option of animate on enter only um, when possible. And that'll just help be a little less distracting. Sometimes I forget it. I'll demonstrate what it looks like to forget it at the end of this video. But yeah, it, there's super fun options. The bottom has these ones called like Flickr and Tumble, and I always really like those because they're kind of quirky. And yeah, they have all these like options. You can choose the directionality and the timing of the slide as well. At the end, you ex you'll export all of that as an MP4 video. The next thing I want you to know is that if you do select only text elements, you'll have a couple different animation options for text. You'll see at the top bar that text also, you know, you can choose the font, the color, but then in that white column, there's animation options such as typewriter, burst, merge. They're all really fun. Um, I just, I love going through all of them and then pretty much just choosing my favorite. And yeah, Canva is just so great. It makes it so easy, literally very beginner friendly. It's like a creative video game kind of thing. Here are some quick design tips for you. I highly recommend choosing a color palette for cohesion. It just makes it look really clean and aesthetic overall. Secondly, I recommend choosing a few favorite fonts and just staying consistent with it. Usually I choose maybe two or three and I personally think sans serifs is way easier on the eyes. Those are the text without the lines. And then these last two tips are just that Canva has these options for positioning, such as grid lines and the tool at the top called position to help you put everything like nice and orderly on your designs. So here you'll see that this is forgetting to press only on enter or on enter for dripping the elements but <laughs> just some final thoughts is yeah canva is literally i think it's like one of the greatest inventions ever you don't have to overthink it even though i totally overthought this video but um <laughs> yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below uh thank you so much for watching and please take care